welcome back nail queens today i'm going to be painting a colorful snowflake mani design on press on nail tips and it's perfect because it is currently snowing outside in houston texas so if you are into snowy wintry but colorful designs you're going to want to keep on watching i'm using extra small oval tips from the painted desert and what i'm going to do first is i'm going to chemically etch this nail tip using a primer from opre i really like this primer because it helps the gel that I'm going to put on top of it adhere better to the nail tip so that it won't cause any lifting or it won't peel right off the nail tip. So you want to do this anytime you're working with gel and nail tips. And then I'm going to take the gel polishes that I'm showing you here on the screen and I'm going to paint two coats onto these nail tips curing for a full 60 seconds in my nail lamp between each coat. So I'm only going to be showing you one coat here on camera because I don't want it to be redundant and I do want to get straight to the textured nail art and the snowflakes, like the really, really fun stuff. So this is what they all look like with one coat painted on all the nails. So I'm gonna go do the second coat off camera and just like that, it's magically done. Two coats, everything looks a lot better. So now I'm gonna coat everything with a matte top coat. This matte top coat is from the brand Soft Gel and I have fallen in love with their matte and glossy top coat lately. I had to buy extra during their Black Friday sale. I am only going to display applying the matte top coat to one of the nails, but I did use this matte top coat on all 10 of the nails. I just wanted to disclose that so it's not redundant. And then um, while those are curing in my nail lamp, I wanna show you guys the nail art brushes I'm gonna be using. I recently came out with a five piece brush set in five different sizes and colors cause Color Me Carol is not Color Me Carol without all the colors. So I'm gonna be using several of these brushes here today and i will say 15 and 20 millimeter are like my favorite my go-to those are the ones i'm going to be using probably throughout the entirety of this video so now those same gel colors that i used earlier to paint on the nails i'm laying here on my nail art palette just a little blob of them and i'm pulling out some clear dip powder if you don't have clear dip powder clear acrylic powder works well as well so the reason I need that clear acrylic powder is because I'm going to be doing some sweater nail art designs. And this is why it was important to do the matte top coat on the nails because when I'm doing the texture design, I'm going to be pouring over clear acrylic powder onto wet uncured gel. If I didn't have that matte base all over the nail, that means that clear acrylic powder would be sticking to everything, not just where I'm creating those sweater designs. So that's why it's important to do the matte top coat before you start doing the sweater design. So that's why I'm painting here. I'm painting two lines like this, and then I'm going to pour over the acrylic powder, and then I'm going to cure that in my nail lamp. When that comes out of my nail lamp, I'm going to dust everything off with my stiff dusting brush. And I use this one. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, on Amazon. But I'm going to dust off any excess loose powder. 
And you see that design didn't go anywhere, right? And I'm gonna continue painting the rest of the sweater design. I'm sorry if I go a little bit off camera, I didn't realize I was going out of frame when I was filming, but I'm just creating little texture designs. And on some of the other nails, I don't film all of them, but on some of the other nails, I created snowflakes, I created heart shapes, I created dots. Like you can make textured sweater nail designs in anything, and I love that. So I poured acrylic powder over that and I cured it and that's what it looks like. It looks so good. Now I'm taking a white non-wipe gel paint. That is the key feature here. You don't have to use a non-wipe one, but trust me, it makes a world of a difference because you don't have to add a top coat over it after you're done with the design. So uh, what I'm doing now is using a dotting tool to paint the snowflake design. And snowflakes are really, really simple to do and they can get very, very intricate. But the main key to doing them is dots and lines. That's all we're gonna be doing here today to create all the different variations of snowflakes that you'll be seeing me doing is dots and lines. And if you don't have a dotting tool, that is fine. You can use a toothpick or an orange wood stick to create all of the dots. So now I'm using one of the liner brushes. I assume this is the 15, I don't remember. It's either the 15 or the 11. It's definitely not the 20. But um, I'm just connecting the center dot to the outer dots. And you can see that I'm skipping a dot in between because those are actually going to connect. And you'll see how I connect that like this. And uh, what I love about snowflakes is there's no right or wrong, in my opinion, as long as you got like the dots and the lines. There's like the symmetry about snowflakes but you can make them look as complex as you want. You can give it as much uniqueness to it and you can do whatever you want. Your snowflake can look as really cool as it you want. I don't know if you guys remember, but I like, I'm 31 years old. And when I was in elementary school, the, our teachers made us fold up a piece of paper and take a pair of scissors and start cutting away. The key was just, you just didn't cut one part of the paper. And everyone's snowflake looks so unique and different. And I love that and I miss those days. So now here I'm using an orange wood stick, basically a toothpick, to create a textured sweater snowflake. You see how I'm using that coral color? like reddish coral color. That's because this one's going to be textured. It's not white like the rest of the ones that you just saw. And that's because I'm gonna be pouring the clear acrylic over it and that's gonna be my sweater design. And yes, your textured sweater design can be anything. It doesn't have to actually be a cable knit sweater or jumper, whatever you choose to call it. It doesn't actually have to be a sweater. So that's what I love about this. It's like the world is your oyster. You can do anything you want when it comes to nail art. I know that sounds a little hypocritical to say because I am using a reference image from Instagram. I posted that at the beginning of this reel. So if you guys want to see the reference image, I will actually link it in the description box as well so that you can check it out and use it for reference if you choose to recreate this design for yourself. But you don't have to recreate designs if you don't want to. You can take them, use them for interpretation to use however you want. You don't have to make something identical. You can be inspired by something and then be like, I like that, but I want to make it Valentine's Day inspired, not winter or Christmas inspired. So that's what I love about art is you can easily be inspired by things and make them in your own vision of it. I'm gonna take my little dotting tool that I'm using here, my orange wood stick, and I'm filling in the dots. I felt like they weren't pronounced enough, so I'm just getting a little bit of that white gel paint and just pronouncing those dots, making them more obvious so they look more snowflakey and not so blended. Now I'm gonna do a half snowflake on this one, so it's extending out of that line that's going down the middle of the nail, and I'm connecting some of the dots and not connecting others. And you'll see that here in a second, how I choose to connect every other line first before I connect those other ones because I wanted those to be skinnier. Then I'm putting little dots here and connecting them to those center pieces. And I am using that reference image that I talked about at the beginning of this video to help me guide me through the way the snowflakes are supposed to look for this Manny design in particular, because I did create this Manny design for a customer of mine. She requested that for her inspo. So of course I wanted it to look the way she specifically wanted it, not 
to my interpretation of it. But I would like to create another interpretation of this. I'm just not sure exactly what I would do. Make it all Valentine's Day inspired maybe, or spring inspired, hmm, I'm not sure. Now I'm creating another snowflake and this one looks completely different. As you can tell, all these snowflakes are looking rather different. So hopefully you're finding inspiration in these snowflake designs and seeing how versatile and unique they can be without looking identical. And I'm wrapping up the last of the snowflake designs. I'm gonna cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. If you're using a wipe gel paint, you're definitely gonna to wanna to top coat those snowflakes or remove the tacky layer with rubbing alcohol before you decide to apply them to your nails because nobody wants sticky nails. All right, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. I'm working my best to get more videos uploaded here this year than I did in the last year. So I hope to see you guys more. Bye.